everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for You and in this video I'm going to tell you how fraction distillation work and how crude oil is separated into different fractions. I'm going to break up this video into three parts. First I'm going to tell you based on what idea does fractional distillation work and the second thing I'm going to show you a simple uh, diagram representation of crude oil and finally I'm going to tell you their products and their uses of those fractions from the crude oil. Now, number one, based on what concept does fractional distillation work? It uses the idea that different hydrocarbon chains have different boiling point. It uses the idea that different hydrocarbon chains have different boiling point. So, different length of hydrocarbon chains and different boiling point is very important. Important thing you need to remember is that if hydrocarbon chain length increases then boiling point increases and this is very important. Okay, let's do a simple representation diagram of crude oil. Now, what do we have over here is crude oil, which is heated up at very high temperature. So what will happen, the small chains which have a low boiling point will start to rise up to the top. So in the top, we're going to have small chain and at the bottom, we're going to have larger chain. Sorry, it's being very small. Um, small chains at the top and larger chain being in the bottom region. Why? Because small chain have low BP, which is low boiling point, and larger chain have high BP. Now, what is produced at the top region of the fractional distillation is, is refinery gas. Or we could call it LPG. LPG stands for liquefied petroleum gas. Underneath the second category, the second smallest chain is petrol. And then we have NAFTA. Uh, NAFTA is comes with an edge, and I forgot to put it there, sorry. Uh, and then we have kerosene and then diesel and then we have oil and the last one at the bottom category is bitumen. So bitumen has the longest chain in the fractional distillation. Okay, now let's take a look at the uses of these fractions. Refinery gas is used as a cooking gas. Petrol is used in vehicles, but mostly small vehicles. Or is used in cars which, which needs a high performance. For example, a car with the turbo needs to have petrol because petrol burns more easily than diesel. NAFTA is needed to make other chemicals. Kerosene is used as a jet fuel, so it's used in the aeroplane. Now, diesel is also used in vehicles, but more large vehicles such as lorries and in cars as well. Oil is used in used in lubricating engine. And bitumen is used in road making. Uh, thank you guys for watching my videos and if you have any questions leave it in the comment.
Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.